About three tenths down in total on his teammates, oh, and he's oh. in the wall! Sebastian wow. Buemi, championship leader, out of the second free practice session. That's a big one for Buemi, coming through the bus stop again. Have... The biggest problem just now is that he's, if, has he hurt himself? Yeah, he was... Corey Fergus, Michael De Casada. Uh, it's behind those first two. Well, okay, it was the issue. It was Fadani. It was, it was excuse me. It was Rossetti and Esther that got, got together. Got together, and then it's a it, it's a chain reaction. Yeah, and several that. cars directly behind him managed to get through remarkably. Side by side contact with the first two, and everybody from seventh or eighth down is involved <laughs> after that. And how anybody gets through. I don't know, Ari Fadani got... Oh, yeah. oh, oh there he goes! Oh, that's, oh, no. that's the big one. That's the big one. Big crash. Oh, boy. Hildebrand, Hildebrand Jones. Jones. Hinchcliffe. Alosha. And then many others up front. This and Hunter oh. Ray is about as big as we ever see in IndyCar. Little oil fire. Oh, Vaudier got contact as well. The lotion made it three wide down the back straightaway, and when Hinchcliffe had to move up, he was pinched. Terrible result for Bodier so that was having such a great run. So both Dale Coyne cars, both Schmidt-Peterson cars, both Ed Carpenter cars all go out in that accident. Sergio set a camera, and there's nothing between them. They're side by side coming to the last corner. Habsburg's got him! Habsburg's got him! And camera hits the wall! So too does Habsburg! And Daniel Tictum wins the Macau Grand Prix! No. Oh no, oh, he actually got that loaded, did he? Yeah. Oh! oh. Oh, wow. One after the other. Crowd loving. Oh, Briscoe gets loose. Austin Wayne self around. Heavy contact with the 99 of Peters up and over. No doubt about that, but at the same time that nobody's going to get too aggressive and jerk in the last eight minutes. Oh. We'll see if the aggressive goes up. Yes, it does. Ortiz is going to go now over. Brian Ortiz made contact with oh Kenny Cook, goodness. and that car now is upside down, and Brian Ortiz has come to a stop here as the caution will come out. Watching Jason here and uh, see if we can get a replay about what happened there, and he's just a little bit over, and I think that's, man, I don't know where that is, but wow, what a... Wicked crash as he got off the track. It dug that front nose and just go over. Oh man, what a huge incident! But I know it's time oh, to be greedy. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh, upside, upside, down. Side. Well, AJ, that was a humdinger. Yes, it was, and it's, uh, there he is upside down, and I hope, hope he's all right. I see him moving around in there to the right hand, uh, left hand side here, and you can't push over there. He even got him himself. He was, you know, it was not something that was intentional. He was just trying to push and help, but it actually even got AJ Allmendinger turned around as well. He's up in the gray. He's lost control of the car. He's hoping he's not going to hit the wall. He impacts the wall, comes off the wall, just misses the 10 of Tony Kanaan. Unfortunately, Scott Dixon is right there up and over the front of the car. Mm. Car hits on the top of the wall. The safety cell on these cars, guys, I can't tell you how strong they are. An awful accident, but as we saw, Scott Dixon right there, hands away from the steering wheel. We saw him get out, and when we... We are going two, three, and four wide already on lap number one. Oh, There's no! two trucks real sideways. Oh, and we've got a truck up and over, a big pair of wet. That was a big wreck right now for the always evolving AE now number 75. Do them. It's, it's, it's flat out. Oh, oh that's Phil Bloom. Me. He's lost his rear aerofoil before the incident coming down into the heavy braking area at the back straight and he's careered into Will Hardeman. Will Hardeman. What a race he's had. This is going to be a safety car. The full course yellow is out. Being the, the 99 of 
Alan Mentney and the 42 of Bill Smith, both local. But then the big accident down at the back of the back straight for those two. You see the 78 of Weatherman moves up the racetrack. It opens up the bottom for Gregson. But I don't think Will Kimmel knew that they were three wide. You see him squeezing the 78 of Weatherman. I'm not sure why Weatherman came off the bottom and opened up the bottom and allowed the 55 of Gregson to get there. Yeah, it just looks like a, a an error there. You know, that you got to protect that yellow line here. you got to stay on the bottom. I mean, it's just it's tight racing there. And, you know, you're just trying to move up and, and get a little bit of run down the corner. But when somebody fills that gap, I just don't think they knew they were three wide, and it just it created a little movement uh, further back throughout the pack, and we've got one car upside down right at the start of the race, uh, about three quarters of the way back to the pack. It is car number 26. That is Tim Probert from Houston, Texas, has gotten upside down and landed on the cage of that Mazda MX-5 here at Barber Motorsports Park. Obviously, a full course caution has gone into effect. Y ya queda menos de media vuelta para el final. Será victoria de Jonathan Castellano que se quiere prender otra vez. En la pelea por el campeonato lo tocó. Lo tocó Muñoz Marchis. Uy, tremendo, tremendo vuelco. Tremenda piña, tremenda piña de Muñoz Marchis. El toque, el toque que vino. Bien, ya han llegado los médicos. Terminar esta pirueta que se inicia en este momento. Una pena, no solamente por el auto, ni por el piloto, pero estamos hablando de una carrera que merecía realmente otro final y termina. No, Will Power. Power goes around. One of the championship contenders. Oh. And then up on his lid over the top is Ed Carpenter. Takuma Sato has also crashed. A major pile up as we restart in the opening moments at Gateway. So the surface was slick for Tony Kanaan and it's slick. It's slick for the rest of these guys. Will Power with a really massive mistake on the first lap. He just uh, lo lost it all on his own, cold tires. That was a big move from Newgarden, and boy, Will Power is lucky the way Ed Carpenter backed up. A couple of teammates side by side for the lead. Bell stays in it. They both run off the racetrack. There's more car trucks off the track than on it. A little Look. contact. There's the Bucky. The 99 of Sargent, the 97 of Jesse Little, and the 16 of Ryan Truex. Off the road, spectacularly there, number 11 hard into the barrier. Tommaso Moschka has done a huge amount of damage to the car. Thankfully, it's not flipped over, but there's liquid pouring out of it. And there's broken suspension, and off the road, big time. Tommaso Moschka into the barriers. And that's how he got onto the grass. And by keeping his foot in, rather than lifting and edging back towards the road. The car broke away, and Kerthunk into the wall. He goes, gets launched, crash lands back to earth, and it was that sort of nosedive into the ground, I think, that really did for him. That's... Alexander Murushko, the avaria is turning around. Two, three, four, very serious avaria. Yes, and now we will have automobile safety. Yes, of course. This is surely going to be the position because the Dutch is already the car of Alexander Murushko. He's slowing up, slowing up heavily. He's not even looked in his mirrors. He's looking around the corner because there's a car stopped in front of him. And Rosenquist fully committed, fully locked up. Nowhere to go. Yeah, just caught him out there. Um, yeah, he's got Oliver slow down for the yellow. And he's six, which is the V5 leader from three Caymans snapping in its heel. There's another change, by the way, in Cup 5. Oh, big accident coming Huge down the Donegal Hall. And it is one of the BMW Cup class cars that's well, involved. That for the lead? I think it might have been, Johnny. And the black and blue car has been shunted just before the left-hand kink well, under the bridge. These are the Kajnowski car did get back to the pit lane and the 677 car taking a huge shunt on the front end and then banging the back end as well. <laughs> Oh, 
eh, esce chiaramente in colume Onofrio Criscuolo, il campione in carica che saluta alla caccia di Gianmarco Quaresmini mentre Alex De Giacomi duella con Reggiani il quale sbaglia l'ingresso della San Donato e consente al pilota Bresciano di passare no. poi i due no, beh, adesso è no. Eh, adesso no eh. Eh, questa, questa è stata, è stata una, una cosa è stata una cosa brutta di nuovo la safety car in pista però questa è una manovra insomma De Giacomi secondo me ha allargato troppo non, non bisogna incolpare nessuno però è stata veramente Cardo Pera e Alessio Rovera non è accaduto assolutamente niente perché tutte queste safety car che entrano in pista e eh beh però qui insomma un po' di responsabilità di Alex De Giacomi eh, secondo me ci sono di gare ne ho viste tante a tanti livelli White's got the initiative this is how he passed you Will earlier on goes in a little bit of a tap on the back end oh no over over goes Jamie White not what we wanted to see Let's have a look at the onboard from Jack Ewart. It's just a light bit of contact and over the car went. You can see White's got the inside line. He clears it. Now, very clearly there, Stuart Robbins avoided him on the first part of the complex. Utilise, attention, il a commis une erreur. À la sortie de la chicane, Sylvain Pichet qui est un peu large. Ça va permettre à Maurice Richard de passer. Xavier Guillaume également la touchette entre les deux et l'accident. Oh, le crash L'accident très violent entre Xavier Guionnet et Sylvain Pussier à 2 minutes 32 de la fin de cette épreuve. Sporterfahrung. Hier steht übrigens Stucki. Möglicherweise eine Folge von der harten Gangart da in der ersten Ecke. Wie sieht die Front aus? Ist da alles in Ordnung? Ich denke, da war eine Berührung. Ja, der Spiegel in oh, links fehlt auch. Hier sehen wir es schon. Ey. Starkes Bild und dann donnert der. Ach du meine Güte! Der hätte sich fast überschlagen. Donnert in das Auto von Thomas Peckersch rein, auf zwei Rädern fahrend. Reader's Phone Canfoot leads from oh and there's a big uh, accident further back, number four. Mencionado y que hemos visto de Belling. Uy, otro más. Uy, quién es Ratasi, a ver. Me, me parece que Cristiano, eh. Y a tener en cuenta porque es el apenas, sí, me parece que apenas lo toca Castelli y se da vuelta el auto de, de Cristiano. ¿eh? Bueno. Huge crash at the end on the final lap. And it just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfing was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. Overall quickest in the middle sector. And he does go third quickest. And another spin. And that surely will end it. And Eilock gets his lap in. And goes to third, which knocks Maximilian Kunter down to fourth. Habsburg in the pits will watch on in fifth. And another massive accident. This time it's the B-Bax man. Marcus and didn't affect him that much at all. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, oh number 27 no. hits the barrier. What did William say about it? Oh, the leader. And the leader as well. Oh. And oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I'll say it again. William, this time it's your fault. <laughs> right. <laughs> We must, but that looks weird. They, they both. Oh, went and, oh, and no. now, now, oh, now we no, have no, the problem. problem. Safety no, car, no. and um, yeah, we've got a block track as well. And it's already completed 75% off the race. Yeah, that, y that gives like us a result. Yeah, at least. Um, Entrada do carro de segurança e abatido. Escapou de traseira e foi forte ali na barreira de pneus. O Márcio Campos. Uma batida violenta de traseira. O carro escapou, 
É, e aí, mas é uma. De vir em quinta marcha, não é rápido. É uma. Nine coming out of the boot. Bowden and McMillan make contact, sending Bowden flipping into and over the wall. The red flag comes out, and this will take a while to clean up. Miraculously, Mark Bowden is out of the car and says he feels fine. Final corner, he hits the barriers hard, bringing out a safety car. The top racing car very, very badly done. A marca de 255 km por hora. Aqui nós temos JP Mauro, Denis Navarro, o Silvio de Barros com o carro Opa! número zero. E aí é problema. O Marcos Vario e o Júlio Borleng foram encontrar a mureta do Autódromo de Interlagos. Olha só o Marcel Visconde por onde passou. Não era por aí não, Marcos Vario. Terminou. Now I'm not a cameraman, but I'm pretty sure that truck's upside down. It's off the truck, yep. and it's Dantas. You can see the Milwaukee power tool signage at the top. The idea of doing a full-time assault this year was down the inside, and if you get the curve hard enough, I would say yes. It's tripped him up, and he got into Eric Davis as well, and then found the tire wall left-hand side. Yeah, Eric Davis didn't see that oh. coming at all. <laughs> Davis. Up. There's Jamie Lee Hawley. Now, where is Magnus Trickovich? Managed to shake Magnus off for the moment. So, Jamie running in 10th place, Magnus in 11th. Thomas Hall. Oh, my goodness me! That is a huge accident. That, without question, it, we've got green flags after it, but that is going to be a red flag. And it's. Oh, an impact! What a crash! Sam Tyree and Hugo News are involved in this crash. What a big impact on this track! Hopefully the driver is safe, the car are okay. 